Imagine a massive steel sea creature moving through the icy waters off the South Atlantic Ocean. The enormous steel sea creature represents human ingenuity and ambition. It is equipped for underground operations and force projection. Let's explore the captivating tale of the ARA San Juan. The largest submarine ever built in Argentina. This video will take you on an exciting adventure filled with ambition, creativity, success, and sorrow. Stay with us on this journey as we learn about the biggest Argentinian submarine in history. Ever wondered what it takes to build a submarine as advanced as the ARA San Juan? Imagine the immense efforts needed to construct a huge and powerful submarine like the ARA San Juan. The steel creature was designed as part of the powerful TR-1700 class. The diesel-electric submarine was a testament to Argentine maritime prowess. The impressive vessel was 66 meters long and 7 meters wide. San Juan was an amazing example of modern engineering and it would carry a lot of weight. The Great San Juan wasn't just a mass of steel, wires, and gauges. It was a blend of cut-edging technology and human bravery. The San Juan is encased in its single-hull design, packed with advanced systems for navigation, communication, power, and weapon deployment. It has the potential to carry 22 torpedoes, ensuring that this Titan was not just for show, but a significant threat in the theater of maritime warfare. The fascinating fact about San Juan is that it was designed to focus on stealth. It can silently move in the ocean depths despite its behemoth size. This marine marvel is designed to be unseen by prying eyes and undetected by the most advanced sonars of its time. The engineers who designed ARA San Juan didn't just make a regular submarine. They made a mysterious and powerful war machine that could fight and gather secret information. This naval marvel shows off Argentina's maritime strength. However, the ARA San Juan tale is filled with exciting and emotional moments. It's not just about the technical details of the submarine, but also involves geopolitics, human stories, competition between countries, and the constant battle between humans and nature. San Juan is remarkable not only for its size and abilities, but also because of its dramatic story of how it was built, used, and unfortunately, its tragic end. The ARA San Juan wasn't built on Argentine soil. Want to know where and how it was constructed? Let's discover! In the late 20th century, ARA San Juan was born with remarkable technological advancement. The construction was a massive project that required a lot of hard work and determination from Argentine engineers and laborers. The project was more than just a technical task. It was a national mission, a vision representing Argentina's desire to become known in submarine warfare. The construction process consumed countless hours, a large amount of high-grade steel, and a solid dedication to excellence. It was a fusion of technology, determination, and national pride. San Juan's marvel was a collective effort of the shared border. The TR-700-class submarine was constructed in West Germany. This submarine is living proof of how great the German shipbuilding industry is. As the building of the submarine started, it took the whole world in awe. It was not just a military ship, but also a symbol of Argentina's strong navy. The ambitious endeavor resulted in a vast and impressive naval ship. The giant size, the advanced weapons, and the state-of-the-art navigation systems made the ARA San Juan a novel invention of maritime engineering. Every little detail, like the fastened bold, sealed weld, installed circuit, made the ship even more impressive. As each day went by, the blueprint turned into a real ship, and Argentina became more respected in the world of submarines. When the ARA San Juan was finally completed, it was a remarkable sight. The submarine proudly displayed the Argentine flag as it set off on its first journey, making a strong impression worldwide. The creation of this powerful vessel meant more than just adding to Argentina's navy. It showed that Argentina has advanced technology, a determined attitude, and big dreams. However, San Juan's journey would take a lot of work. As we dive deeper into her life, we will discover this powerful submarine's remarkable exploits, challenging obstacles, and tragic end. So buckle up as we set sail on this exciting journey through time and tide. Can you imagine living in the belly of a massive steel beast like the San Juan? Imagine living in an enclosed steel tube submerged hundreds of feet below the sea surface, away from the warmth of the sun and the comfort of dry land. 
It was life inside the ARA San Juan. Despite its enormous size, every square inch of the submarine was meticulously designed and made to work perfectly. The result was a maze of rooms, corridors, and machinery. The submarine contains a crew's sleeping quarters designed to complement 37. It also has an advanced control room fulfilling the dual comfort and functionality needs. The crew's sleeping quarters were compact yet cozy. They provide all kinds of comfort during demanding duties. The living areas were decorated with all the basic amenities. It contains all the essentials required to uphold the morale of the crew member during a prolonged period under the sea. The heart of the ARA San Juan was the control room. In this room, also called the heart of the San Juan submarine, the officers would navigate, coordinate, and command. The control room is a house of screen arrays, dials, and levers. This room was the hub of all the activities inside the ship. In this room, the crew members would monitor the submarine systems, check its course, and control the weapons. Life on ARA San Juan demanded discipline, courage, and an unwavering commitment to duty from the crew members. It requires them to function as one unit, have faith in one another, and maintain the highest standard of professionalism despite the risk involved in the operation. All those who worked on the ship considered it their second home, protector, and charge. It was a separate world with the motto, United We Stand. Life on board was a test of human tenacity. The submarine served as a reminder of humankind's desire to conquer the undersea world. A very interesting fact about Argentina's great naval power show is that it was not constructed on Argentine soil. It was built in a shipyard in West Germany. The ARA San Juan was officially launched into service on November 19, 1985. The San Juan was also not immune to the relentless march of time like any other machine. The submarine underwent a midlife update from 2008 through 2013. The renovation was not just a superficial makeover. The whole ship was scrutinized for every bolt, panel, and wire. The submarine was redesigned with all the demands of modern naval warfare. In maritime tradition, the name of a ship is very important. The name represents the ship's identity, character, and legacy. The name San Juan has a strong and important history, which this amazing submarine proudly carries. The submarine took its name San Juan from a province in Argentina. This region is known for its stunning landscapes, strong and determined people, and vibrant culture full of tradition. The submarine carried the province name with it into the deep, dark depth of the world oceans. It symbolized Argentina's determination, strength, and boldness. The submarine's name synchronizes with Argentine naval tradition, The submarine name, beginning with the letter S, followed a long line of distinguished predecessors. This tradition is symbolic, connecting the rich history of Argentine naval warfare, recognizing past victories, and showing respect to the brave souls who have served under the Argentine flag. The prefix ARA stands for Armada de la Republica Argentina. It shows how important the submarine is to the Argentine Navy. It is a symbol of honor and signifies that the San Juan is a crucial part of Argentina's naval power. The ARA San Juan was not just a submarine, it was a symbol of Argentina, a representation of their high spirit and honoring their history of service and sacrifice. Whenever the ARA San Juan went underwater, it carried a part of Argentina's history and showed its presence in the world's oceans. The San Juan submarine had a remarkable operational history, showing great naval skills. One notable accomplishment was during the Fleet X-294 George Washington exercise with the U.S. Navy. It cleverly avoided detection, simulated sinking a command ship, and showcased its impressive stealth capabilities. However, the submarine faced difficulties along the way. It had the important responsibility of patrolling and keeping an eye on Argentina's territorial waters. Additionally, there were financial limitations during the midlife update, which added to the challenges. Despite these obstacles, the San Juan consistently came out on top, earning a strong reputation in Argentina's maritime defense. The submarine went missing with 44 crew members on board during a routine patrol off the coastal areas on 15th November 2017. The submarine disappeared off Argentina with 44 crew members aboard. A multi-nation search operation was performed. The search operation became one of the most prominent naval search missions in recent history. All the exhaustive efforts went into Wayne. 
the submarine was finally declared lost. It cast a long and sad shadow over the Argentinian Navy. Do you wonder how the ARA San Juan was discovered after it disappeared? On November 16, 2018, a very sad news was discovered. The Argentine Navy had been looking for the ARA San Juan submarine for a whole year. They finally found it deep in the Atlantic Ocean. A missing Argentine submarine has been found after a year it disappeared in the South Atlantic. 907 meters below the surface, the submarine was broken into pieces. San Juan was discovered southeast of Comodoro Rivadavia, about 460 kilometers away from the coast of Argentina. The Norwegian ship Seabed Constructor, which belongs to a company called Ocean Infinity, found the submarine using a remote-controlled vehicle. They found the wreckage of the San Juan spread out over a large area, measuring 8,000 square meters, like a sad and eerie graveyard. The pictures showed how the deep sea can be very powerful and scary. The San Juan submarine had collapsed under the strong pressure of the deep water. Its wreckage was shattered and spread out on the bottom of the ocean. The bow structure, the tall structure, and the propellers of the submarine were scattered all over the ocean floor. It was a sad reminder of how the submarine met a tragic end. With this discovery, a sad chapter was added to naval history. It reminded us of the dangers associated with deep-sea exploration and military duty. The wreckage told stories of bravery, sacrifice, and the strong human spirit. The ARA San Juan and its brave crew became part of history, and their memory will always be remembered in the depths of the sea they bravely explored. Despite the sadness, something comforting happened. They found the sunken submarine, and this helped the country to grieve for the sailors who had been lost. Now there was no more uncertainty. People could accept that the crew of the ARA San Juan had died, and they could honor their memory. The submarine became their permanent resting place in the deep ocean, and their story will always be remembered and will inspire future generations. Ever wondered what kind of legacy the ARA San Juan and its crew left behind? In front of the Mar del Plata naval base, there is a monument that reminds us of the ARA San Juan tragedy. It represents the 44 crew members who were lost. Each name on the stone tells a story of bravery, dedication, and the ultimate sacrifice. The story of the ARA San Juan is more than just a submarine tale. It shows the strength of the human spirit, ambition, perseverance, and bravery. This story will inspire many generations of naval servicemen and will always be an important part of Argentina's maritime history. The story of the ARA San Juan has finally come to an end. It is a tale of ambition, strength, and sacrifice that goes beyond naval history and shows the incredible bravery and determination of human beings. How do you feel about Argentina's dedication to creating such a magnificent submarine, despite the challenges they faced? Do you think the ARA San Juan was a testament to Argentina's maritime prowess or a representation of the risks inherent in undersea exploration? We'd love to hear your perspective. Remember, your comments and engagement fuel our dedication to bring you these unique stories from the past. If you found this story captivating, please like and share it with others who enjoy history. Subscribe to our channel to stay updated on more exciting stories from the past. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think about this remarkable tale. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we'll see you in our next adventure through time.